It's often necessary to make adjustments to your inventory quantities and values, most typically due to data entry errors or items that have been damaged or lost. You'll find that making these adjustments is an easy task in SageMass 90 and Mass 200, and in this tutorial, we'll walk you through two examples. In our first example, a data entry error has caused an item to be received at an inflated cost and the value needs to be adjusted down. For our second example, some items in one of our warehouses have been damaged, so they'll need to be removed from inventory and written off. In these types of situations, it's important to make the required adjustments since improper costing and available quantities may affect sales commissions, stock status reporting, and inventory valuation. So now let's get started by reviewing the items that we'll be adjusting in our two examples. Going to the Task menu tree, we'll select Inventory Management, Main, Item Inquiry. Clicking the lookup, we'll scroll down to find the item, and we'll choose item VOGCAMSC, a storage cube. This is the item that we'll be adjusting in our first example where the item cost was incorrectly entered. Here on the main tab, note that our item valuation is FIFO. Moving to the Cost Detail tab, here we can review the cost details for our FIFO tiers. Let's click All to view the data for all of our warehouses. Notice in Warehouse 2, there was a receipt quantity of 1 at a unit cost of $14,400. For our example, we'll assume that the unit cost should have been $144, which is similar to the other costing tiers. So this is the cost error that we'll be correcting in the first example. Now let's review the item for our second example, where we'll be adjusting the quantity for damaged inventory. Let's click OK then go back to the main tab. Here we'll open the lookup and scroll all the way down to item PFS004 cable, a four conductor cable, and then hit select. Now we'll open the quantity tab and view the quantity on hand in warehouse two. For our example, we'll assume 500 of the 4,000 items were damaged. So now let's close the item inquiry window and make the adjustments for our examples. To make our adjustments, we'll go to the Task Menu tree and select Transaction Entry. For Transaction Type, we'll select Adjustments, and we'll click the Number button to receive the next entry number. Notice that the transaction date defaults to the module date, which we'll accept. Recall that in our first example, Warehouse 2 has the incorrect average cost, so we'll open the lookup and select it as the default warehouse for the adjustment. Let's enter a comment here, and we'll type adjust for incorrect unit cost. Now we'll move to the lines tab to enter the details of our adjustment. In the item code field, we'll open the lookup and scroll down to item VOG CA MSC, a storage cube, and hit select. First, we need to reverse the original receipt. The quantity originally received with the incorrect unit cost was 1, so we'll enter negative 1 in the quantity field. Note that the last unit cost displays here. When we press Enter to accept the quantity, the distribution entry window opens. Here we'll select the FIFO tier needing adjustment. Clicking the FIFO date lookup displays a list of available receipts and here we can see the receipt with the incorrect unit cost of $14,400. Let's select this receipt for adjustment and hit OK to close the distribution window. On line 2, we'll open the lookup and select the same item code as on line 1. This time, we'll enter the receipt quantity of 1 as a positive number. For the unit cost, we'll enter our new unit cost of $144. Once again, the distribution entry window opens, and here we'll enter 042911 in the FIFO date field to match our original receipt. For receipt number, we'll type adjust. To note this was an adjustment, and the quantity defaults to 1. 
Now I'll click OK to close the distribution window and click Accept to complete this transaction. Before moving on to the second example, there are a few important items to note. For items valued by LIFO and FIFO, you must reverse the original cost tier and enter a new cost tier. Both the reversal tier and new tier may be made in the same transaction entry. For lot and serial items, the reversal entry must be updated before creating a new transaction for the corrected cost when using the same lot or serial number for the item. The cost of an average cost item recalculates with each transaction. To change the unit cost of an average cost item to a specific amount, you must first adjust all quantities on hand out. This involves entering a negative for the total quantity on hand at the average cost amount. This entry must be updated prior to making a new entry with the positive quantity on hand and the new unit cost amount. Now moving to our second example, we'll adjust the quantity on hand for damaged items. We'll leave our transaction type as adjustments and click the number icon to obtain our next entry number. Again, we'll leave the transaction date and we'll select Warehouse 2 as our default warehouse. And for a comment, we'll enter Write Off Damaged Goods. Moving to the Lines tab, we'll click the lookup and select item PFS004 cable from the list. We want to reduce the current quantity on hand by 500, so we'll enter negative 500 for the quantity. Now we'll complete the entry by clicking Accept. Next we'll print and update our entries by clicking the printer icon. For demonstration purposes, we'll hit Preview, which launches the Inventory Transaction Register. You should review your entries here for accuracy. Let's close the window and click Yes to update the register and Yes again to print the daily transaction register. And as before, we'll choose Preview. Again, you should review these general ledger transactions for accuracy. Now let's close the window and hit Yes to update. Now let's review our adjustments. To do this, we'll go back to the menu tree and select Item Inquiry. Using the lookup, we'll scroll down to select item VOG CAMSC from our first example. Moving to the Cost Detail tab, here we'll select Warehouse 2. Notice that the quantity is zero for the costing tier of 14,400 and the cost tier for Adjust has the proper unit cost. Now we'll click OK and review our second example. Let's click the lookup and scroll down and select our example item PFS004 cable. We're still on the Cost Detail tab from our last example, and because this is a standard cost item, we receive the message that Cost Detail is not available. We'll click OK and move to the Quantity tab. Let's take a look at Warehouse 2. The quantity on hand now shows 3,500, which is our original quantity of 4,000, less the 500 we adjusted out for damage. And that completes our tutorial on using inventory transaction entry to adjust item costs and quantities in SageMass 90 and Mass 200. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your SageMass 90 or Mass 200 system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.